car is good, at least we've had some issues. So we worked and worked, got the brakes improved. Like I want to say 100%, let's call it 98%. The only thing I don't know is the pads or the, the pre bedded, everything's the pre bedded new stuff. Rear, rear is the pre bedded new stuff too. I the know. Rear pad. The rear I left it once, but I changed. Fast. SpaceX is hiring and then turn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean at this point the teams are so they're testing and testing and testing as much as they can with the parts that will supply them and they're getting honed in and they're getting all the little details down on the car so there's not big things anymore and it's gonna be a, a stack up of little details that is gonna separate these. So just one qualifying session the fastest lap is for race one and your second fastest lap starts here for race two. General balance was okay, but uh, under load on turn in, the rear of the car is just trying to loop around. It's extremely uncomfortable and obviously kills lap time, especially in places like one where most of your lap time um, can be lost. Which, yeah, my turn once. I'd like to just, you know, go do your best, save this time, these tires, or go forward into uh, Road America. Yeah. So. And we lower the nose. More or is it, is it there? I had already done that yesterday. Uh, okay. I think we're there. Okay. I'm right in the mix, so just try to stay in the mix and uh, see if I can make up a couple of positions here and there. I think all in all, it should be a good race, a fun race. Hopefully, have a good time out there. So qualifying, he's out there goofing around. He goes, "Well, that was a pretty good lap," and then he said the tires went like this. Yeah. Like, Dude, really? Well, I mean, that sugar lap missions, right? I guess he forgot. It's just a kid. Hello, everybody, and welcome along to the Porsche Carrera Cup North America on a beautiful day at Watkins Glen. The green flag is in the air, and it's a good start from Max Root, who leads away with Prior trying to call down the inside tricky downhill braking area. TJ Fisher for top racing, fourth position at the moment with Riley Dickinson right in behind him, then Lee Keane for 311 RS Motorsport. So like when we first got the cars, uh, Ryan's car, Lee's car, I mean, had two way different shots on way different here. So finally got to replace the one with another one which matched the other three. It was way softer. What do you do? Go through until you find two like that. Use those in certain places. Yeah. See if they're The heel of the boot and trying for second. And so the back end broke away. And now fourth, fifth, and sixth are as one as well with Riley Dickinson under pressure from the bright red car of Lee Keen and 311 Motorsport. Round the outside of turn one across the curbs. They're going to try and go side by side up the hill. I don't recommend that, lads. I really don't. And here comes Dylan Murray thinking, oh, hello. Yes, yes, you get on with you, that, lads. Just under three miles to go. Good drive, good drive. Way to go get that position. 
position there. With one more race to come this weekend, the chequered flag is out and Kelly Moss Road Race take another race victory. Kai von Berlo will stand on the top step of the podium, the sprint to the checker. We'll see Max Root take second ahead of TJ Fisher with Riley Dickinson, Lee Keane and Dylan Murray all within a couple of seconds. Oh yeah. Wow. I'll just hand you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah, good yeah. Race, man. Yeah, it's so hard to pass. Oh my god. It's really hard to pass. Yeah, and the S's you're kind of screwed and then yeah, it's yeah. really tough. I thought he was cleaning the car on the grid. Well ahead of Maxwell Root now as he heads down to turn number one. Didn't make the same mistake this time around. The clock is counting down for 45 minutes and already a couple of cars are off the side of the circuit. Two down the inside. Yeah, that's a very good run by nice. Lee Keane. How did he manage that in the bright uh, red? A bright Kermit Green Porsche. He's trying to make up some uh, positions as he's in behind the number 11. That's the 311 RS Motorsports car. And spins him out. Oh dear. Contact. And Ryan has gone for a wild ride there. Ryan Gates in the 311 water sport. Oh, Are you kidding oh, me? God. You have got to be kidding. They need to get their eyes checked. Are you fucking kidding? You need to get your eyes. That's fucking nuts. That's a racing incident. You just take him out from behind. Good Use him as a break. It's cool. Wow. In the grass of the slide, they're going to pull you up towards the pavement to load you, and then try to get it while they're pulling you, try to get it to go down in the neutral. Ryan has gone for a wild ride there. Ryan Gates in the 311 Motorsport car. The driver's door's popped open. He's fine. He's disappointed. Bit of a battle going on. Lee Keane, Maxwell Root together. Maxwell Root in the white with green colours. Coming into the super quick outer loop. TJ Fisher for top racing. Uh, See an official man, Yeah. He's making more than one move. He's blocking. This is a very good run here by uh, Lee Keane in that uh, 311 RS car. He says he told me on uh, Friday that he wasn't happy with the handling car in the first session. Uh, and then uh, the second session, I don't think they got out, of, uh, got out at all. They had a problem with a, a soft brake pedal, which they couldn't quite figure out. So on the brakes, Van Berlo breaking very late, comes up the inside, super manoeuvre, side by side contact. And Prio goes off the circuit, Van Berlo goes through. Very much side-by-side -side contact, exactly as I thought he was going to do it, he did it. Now, has Prior got damage? Race control will want to look at that one, I am sure. Kai van Berlo makes it the double at Watkins Glen. Takes the second race of the weekend for Porsche Carrera Cup North America. Sebastian Prior finishes a second and a half back. Lee Keane will be on the podium in third for 311 RS Motorsport. 